is less than 20%. Thrombophilia, repeated attacks of acute DVT, anatomical causes such as main nervous syndrome, venous aneurysms, and external compressions. Visit the uh, venogram of chronic DVT. You can show the left common iliac uh, vein with uh, occlusion or near total occlusion, causing uh, dilated uh, tortuous veins uh, to drain the uh, venous drainage of left lower limb. What are the complications of chronic DVT? Dr. Hoffman has to them. Secondary vertical constraints, venous complication, venous cramps, chronic lamp edema, skin changes like pigmentation, like the metosclerosis, venous ulcerations, and for uh, long standing venous ulceration, it may turn in a malignant transformation. Uh, this picture shows secondary vertical veins on the left and uh, the right uh, is our uh, uh, ulcerated venous, uh, uh, venous ulcers uh, with skin pigmentation and so now the question comes, when to treat patients, who should be treated, and how should be treated? When to treat patients, the treatment should be started once the diagnosis is established. Delays in management may result in eruptions of complications. Management of complications is different and expensive. Who should be treated? All cases should be offered treatment. The treatment will be tailored individually according to general condition, comorbidity, complications, age. We start by simple non-invasive procedure up to sophisticated procedures. How to treat? Early cases, non-complicated cases, bedridden and elderly, elderly with significant comorbidities should be treated conservatively with phenotonics and elastic stocks. Ambulant patient with the failure of conservative management or presented with established complications should be offered interventions as early as possible. Surgical interventions by bypass or valvoplasty has significant complications and morbidities and poor outcome. Endovascular interventions is evolving with good long-term outcome. Vivo clinical study evaluated the safety and efficacy of zebral vena venous system in the treat of symptomatic ephemeral venous outflow in 30 study locations. 243 patients were involved uh, from December uh, uh, 2013 to November 2019. Clinic clinical venous severity score is a method of classification used in Britain. Based on 10 clinical uh, descriptions, pain, varicose veins, venous edema, skin pigmentation, inflammations, and duration, number of active ulcers, duration of active ulcers, size of active ulcers, and use of compression therapy. Each score has a score from 0 to 3. The venous clinical severity score is the sum of scores for individual descriptions ranging from 0 to 30. In Anshams University, our Department of Vascular Surgery, we uh, uh, published a paper uh, titled Long Term Outcome of Dedicated Venous Stent and Management of uh, Chronic Iliofemoral Obstruction. Uh, the objective of this study was to study the long term outcome in patients with occlusive iliofemoral uh, chronic venous insufficiency of benign etiology treated by dedicated venous stent, Zegger Vena. Zilver Vena were, uh, chose, uh, were, uh, was our choice because they were the first dedicated venous stent in Egypt. Actually, when we started treating chronic uh, venous insufficiency, we used uh, wall stent, uh, 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 but the first dedicated venous stent was available in Egypt was Zilver Vena. This one piece, 99 stent, is characterized by high radial force and flexibility with radio big markers use a wall back technique. This is the actual anatomy of the iliac veins, as you can see, uh, see now. It's not uh, straight veins, it, uh, as you can see in the angiogram. It is uh, tortuous veins by its nature. Our methods was uh, we performed the retrospective analysis of prospectively collected data from 58 patients with symptomatic benign lower limb chronic venous insufficiency. Patients underwent recanalization using zero venous stents in ancient University hospitals. 
We executed patients requiring a stent after intervention for acute deep venous thrombosis, chronic venous insufficiency due to malignancy or vascular malformation, devious hips, natural venous interventions, chronic venous insufficiency due to non obstructive pathology reflux. Patients were clinically classified at enrollment by venous disability score and virality score. Primary assisted primary and secondary stent patients were assessed. Patients were followed clinically by Doplex at 1, 3, 6, 12 months and annually for 5 years. And this is the distribution of the disease segments. You can see the uh, uh, length of the segment and the anatomical distribution of each segment. Our results, there were 31 male and 27 females with ages ranging between 25 and 60 years as you can see. We uh, uh, faced by uh, young patients and uh, uh, old patients uh, were involved. Unlike uh, treatment of acute uh, DVD is recommended for young ambulant uh, patients. And this is the clinical distribution of patients with the demographics. All patients had post thrombotic syndrome with a mean blood score of 16.8. And this is the distribution of the score improvement uh, 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 against the time uh, of follow up. Patients were treated with dedicated venous stents and had a mean follow up of 60 months. The median venous disability score was 3 at the start of the study with a significant decrease to 1 at 5 years. 12 month primary patency, assisted patency, and secondary patency were 91, 96, and 98 respectively. At the five year follow up, primary patency was 60, assisted primary patency 65, and secondary patency was 81. And this is according to Captain Myers. This one shows the patency in, uh, according to the uh, clinical outcome. You can see the uh, uh, the outcome is much related to stent patency. We concluded that treatment of occlusive aleofemoral disease has become a cornerstone for treatment of PTS. Uh, Recanalization using dedicated venous stent, silver vena, is an excellent choice with respect to one year and five year patency. It provides good clinical improvements. Available long stents decrease overlapping of stents and may decrease fracture and encroaching upon the contralateral uh, common iliac vein. So, treatment should be offered for patients with chronic, chronic venous insufficiency in their beginning stages. We shouldn't wait up to complicated stages because when the patient develops venous ulcer, it may be difficult to treat the ulcer itself even after correction of uh, the occluded occlusive segment. Also, development of secondary varicose veins may result in superficial form of hepatitis of these secondary varicose veins and become very uh, difficult to treat, to treat this uh, complication even if the uh, obstruction is uh, relieved. So, actually, the obstruction is the, cause of main, uh, the, uh, the main cause of all complications. So, the relief of the obstruction as early as we can will prevent the complications and make it easy to treat the patients and, uh, and take them back to their normal life. Thank you.